Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I'll be teaching you how to download super high resolution elevation data from the 3DEP 3D elevation program of the USGS service. And um, here you can have a quick look at what this data can look like. Let's load it at full resolution. And you can see in this case. We have a 0 0.5 meters per pixel resolution, and it gives us very, very high detail fidelity. So let me show you. So first thing first, we're going to go to the National Map Downloader. You can find the link in the description. And we're going to select Elevation Source Data. We're going to unclick LiDAR Point Cloud and click on Digital Elevation Model Source. Click on Show so that we're going to see where the data is available for download. You can see there's different colors. If we click on show legend, we can see that uh, magenta is uh, less than one meter per pixel data. And the red one is one meter per pixel. The magenta one is usually 0 0.5 meters per pixel. So it's a quite high detail data. And from there, we're just going to find an interesting area to download. What I usually do is change the, the base layer of the map to the either image from where you can spot some interesting areas. I think this one is actually Yosemite Park, but we can also go for shaded relief. This also makes it easier to pick out some interesting looking spots. And um, yeah. I think this is actually the Zemity Park. We can see from here Yosemite National Park. So let's try to download some elevation data from that zone. There's multiple ways. The easiest one is to select Extent and just draw a rectangle around the area we want to download. From there, we go to Search Products. So there you go. We have a result, and the result basically consists of all these little tiles of hate maps, which we all need to download and combine. For downloading them, we're going to download this text file, which is composed of 351 links. We're going to open the file, and we're going to select and copy all of them. Now, this is going to launch a process instead of J Downloader 2, which is a program where which I also link in the description. And basically it's starting to add all these links to their download list. Okay, they've all been added. I'm gonna select them all, deselect one and drag them all into that one. So now we have them all inside of a single folder. We're going to start the download and we're going to wait for it to finish. So the download is finished. We're going to launch QGIS and uh, we're also going to copy the directory to where we downloaded our files. So QGIS is a free geographic software basically used for combining all types of, uh, of geographic uh, material digital material from there we're gonna click on raster miscellaneous build virtual raster we're gonna select some files from the folder we're gonna select them all and click on run so our raster was complete this is what it looks like and now i'm gonna teach you quickly how to import this file into Word Machine. For this, we need to export this and get rid of some values. For example, here in the upper right corner, there's some basically transparent values, which QGIS interprets as no data values. For that, we need the fill no data cells. You can find this if under the processing toolbox, which can be found in view, toolbars, or is it, no, maybe panels, processing toolbox. 
in the raster tools fill no data cells we're going to select our virtual raster and for the fill value we're going to pick the lowest value which in this case is 1131 meters 1131 meters that means that the lowest elevation of this whole file here is 1000 meters above sea level the highest one being 2800 and also it can be quite useful to note down the dimensions of the file basically here we can see the width is 48,000 and the height 30,000 this is pixels and if we scroll down we find the pixel size to be 0 0.5 that means 0 0.5 meters per pixel so um, we're gonna save this file we're gonna save it here in my digital elevation model folder i'm gonna save this as your and i'm gonna add the dimensions of this file to the name of the file that's going to make it easier after in the world machine so what did we say 48,000 was the height that we divided by two because it's 0 0.5 meters per pixel so it's 24 by 50 kilometers and the height of the of the whole uh, terrain goes from 1031 Pull up the calculator 2,838 minus 100, 1,131 gives us 1,017 meters of height difference. Oh, wait, how much was it? 1,797 meters with the height and 0 0.5 meters per pixel. Tiff. and uh, we click on run so the file has stopped processing and i've opened up the word machine i'm gonna select the file input and into that i'm gonna drop the file we just processed and you have to be careful to not put in files which are too big because uh, word machine is gonna hit a memory limit now this file here is taking up 4.5 5.4 gigabytes of ram memory i have acquired a lot of ram 64 gigabytes and so it can still fit but it happens quite uh, frequently that you download a lot of data and that the final file that you're building is way too big and um, one solution for that is here in QGIS, you can zoom into an area and if you only want to export the area which you zoomed into, you can click export, save as and map canvas extends. Then you add your file path on here and you click OK. And that's going to export only the area which is inside of the viewfinder here. So we can close this. And let's take a look at this again. Actually, the dimensions were 24 kilometers by 15 kilometers. We had a height extent of 1717 meters. And the, the resolution was of 0 0.5 meters per pixel that means on four kilometers we can put a resolution way up to 8000 which is very high resolution i'm going to control the space to open up side 3d preview here and on this side i'm going to click on the explorer extend so from here we can move our extent around and we can preview the file that we just downloaded let's actually look at this area here which is probably the most famous one of the yosemite valley you can see this is the file with the actual detail there's a lot of information 
If you move your light around up here in the viewfinder, in the small viewfinder, you can take a clearer look at all the small details. For example, these small rocks here. And voila. If you want to explore a little bit more, you can move your main extent around, look at some new areas. And that's the most powerful thing about loading these files into World Machine. I think other problem, other programs such as Gaia don't have a easy way of browsing your bigger files because usually they're all loaded into the view. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something useful.